just uh, some of the uh, sights and sounds from uh, Illinois Gun Owner Lobby Day yesterday here in Springfield. I'm Greg Bishop. Thanks for hanging out with me and uh, being part of the program. And saw some of you there. Uh, and uh, thanks again for coming up and saying, hey, you watch the show every day. So uh, it's always humbling uh, and fuels my fire. That's for sure. Uh, so I appreciate that. Uh, but uh, interesting things said. Uh, and of course, uh, you had the convention center where people uh, gathered to watch various uh, presentations. Uh, and uh, you'll read more about that at thecentersquare.com. Uh, but you've got, uh, you know, the crowd uh, taking in uh, all kinds of speakers, uh, and, uh, including Todd Vandermeid. Uh, he was there. Uh, he addressed the crowd a bit. Uh, you had uh, the Illinois State Rifle Association board members, uh, David Lombardo, uh, Thomas McDonald, Anthony Clark, and a whole host of others. Uh, addressing the crowd at the convention center, hearing about, uh, you know, things like uh, where we're at with litigation against the state's gun ban, but not just the state's gun ban, a whole host of other uh, firearms uh, legislation as well coming down the pike. You hear, heard uh, from Alan Gottlieb, who was there uh, from the Second Amendment Foundation. I touched base with Alan Gottlieb briefly, uh, and uh, he, he shared with us uh, really what uh, some of the, the major things coming out of Illinois are and why Illinois is so important in the Second Amendment space. Well, one of the reasons Illinois is so prominent in the Second Amendment space is because of the anti-gun people in the state of Illinois, the politicians keep passing more and more anti-gun laws, which allows Illinois to take things to court and, and get court victories and decisions that create precedents for all the other 49 states. So Illinois, with uh, uh, its continued uh, uh, gun control legislation being challenged in the courts, I, he presented to the people talking about the cases out of Chicago uh, that uh, went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court about uh, concealed carry, for instance, or just any kind of carry. Uh, and even the cases about you know prohibiting gun stores in Chicago and prohibiting gun ranges in Chicago with Rhonda Azell uh, and two cases that uh, had to be addressed in the courts. And it seems that Illinois is a state that's when there's a gun law and it's challenged in courts, it goes up to the Supreme Court and then you have uh, precedent being set. So uh, Gottlieb kind of spelled out how important Illinois is in that space of challenging gun laws and getting results. Uh, he gave uh, some indication of what to expect with Illinois' gun ban, uh, especially if uh, the Illinois Supreme Court, or rather the U.S. Supreme Court, uh, takes up that challenge. Well, I'm hoping that the U.S. Supreme Court grants cert uh, to our case uh, uh, challenging the, the Illinois you know, gun ban and magazine ban, uh, and there's a good chance they will. It's a chance they might pick in other states case that's similar as well. We have a number of them percolating out of Maryland, out of California, uh, out, of, out, out of Oregon. So it's hard to say which one's going to get there first, but there's no doubt that they might get consolidated. So Illinois may go up with others as well. So clearly the, the, a lot of moving pieces, different states with challenges to gun bans, uh, but it could be Illinois that makes uh, some significant movements in the U.S. Supreme Court, or they could consolidate cases, as Gottlieb said. But I also got uh, you know the Second Amendment Foundation's Alan Gottlieb's take on uh, those who want more gun control, saying that banning certain types of firearms keeps, quote, weapons of war off the street or, quote, assault weapons off the street. He says that uh, that's uh, some misinformation. Well, obviously, that's not true. They try and, and, and confuse the public, pretending that these are weapons of war, so to speak. Uh, they're not fully automatic firearms. Uh, the terminology they use is false. It's a false narrative to push their anti-gun rights agenda. Uh, and the bottom line is the courts aren't going to listen to so after, after uh, Alan Gottlieb's presentation, the gun owners took to the streets where they marched down Capitol Avenue, heading towards the Illinois State Capitol. And it is, uh, it is pretty incredible to see a lot of people walking down the streets with Tom Schaefer who is the uh, the marshal every year uh, with his chance. Uh, good to see, you know, uh, all kinds of people out good there. Thank you. thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's always interesting to have, uh, have that kind of recognition in public. Uh, then you've got, uh, uh, there's Rhonda Azell there. 
thank you, thank you. others uh, you know walking down the Capitol with the 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 silver dome in the background and it's always a sight to see now there were only a couple of hundred people there i'd say maybe 300 people um and it's definitely not nearly as large of a gun owner lobby day as i've seen in the past uh, but still uh, it's a sight to see uh, then after they marched down through the streets they held a rally uh, at the lincoln statue on the capitol grounds uh, where state legislators spoke uh, and uh, shared their thoughts including state's representative john cabello uh, he's a he's a police officer uh, alongside being a state representative and he talked about how gun ownership uh, is important especially for the law enforcement community and he says that they know in the law enforcement community uh, that uh, they have support from the gun owners and that support is reciprocal that you're trained I know that you're going to have our back because we're out man and we're out gun. Yeah. 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 Yes. There's many of us here and we understand that they are constantly attacking your right. So what we have done, we've decided to file some of our own bills just to counter what they've done and to tell them that we're not going to take it any longer. So he laid out a whole host of legislation that he's looking to do, including uh, ending the FOID card. Uh, you've got uh, the Illinois Freedom Caucus who uh, announced that they're pushing to uh, cancel out the the ban on semi-automatic rifles handguns and shotguns uh, and a variety of other pieces of legislation but one that uh, john cabello talked about was a stand your ground law you have to have the right to protect your family because right now longer and longer response times for the police as they're doing their best to try to get to you they can't be everywhere you must have the right to protect you and your family. Yeah. With the best weapon available. Yeah. With the best weapon available. <laughs> now with all the crap that they have passed under this stupid idea factory, <laughs> there's one that I think that you will all really like. House Bill 5863. I filed, and it is... Illinois' Stand Your Ground Law. You should not have to retreat. You should not have to worry about a lawsuit if you're protecting yourself or your family. Everybody here, I believe, is going to be a sponsor of this bill and all of the packages of bills that I told you about because we believe you have the right to protect yourself and your families. So, uh, again, a lot of legislation being proposed by Republicans, but Republicans are in the super minority at the Illinois State House. Getting such legislation across the finish line is uh, quite the hurdle uh, for, for Republicans, especially when you have others on the other side of the aisle pushing for more gun control laws, and likely they have the super majority uh, behind them in that. So uh, one thing that they talked about at iGold was uh, some stuff really hasn't moved. Gun control measures haven't moved, but there's still time before the end of May when they could bring out some shell bills and advance things out of one chamber that's already passed the house but they changed it in the senate and then they'll pass it amended into the house and the house will concur with that and then it's it's ultimately going to head to the governor's desk so everything from in including uh what they call karina's bill i believe and that is uh, a measure that uh, enhances and increases law enforcement's role in firearm restraining orders, saying that law enforcement have to confiscate firearms from those who are subject of a uh, restraining order. Uh, so that measure is still out there uh, and possibly could advance. So we'll keep an eye on that, obviously. But uh, some other measures as well, increasing uh, you know, uh, background checks and training requirements and such. Uh, so uh, clearly there, there's still time left in the legislative session for stuff to happen. And that was one measure one message that uh, the Illinois State Rifle Association's lobbyists uh, shared with the crowd at the convention center. Uh, and then you've got uh, State Senator Neil Anderson uh, sharing this quip. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, 
this is the 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 uh, support group for people that had tragic boating accidents in the last year, correct? Yes. Okay, I'm in the right place then. He went on to share some of his thoughts uh, as well. Uh, others spoke. Uh, if you weren't there, you missed it. Uh, so that was uh, just a, a brief review here of uh, Illinois Gun Owner Lobby Day. After they had that rally at the Lincoln statue, they then went into the Capitol and lobbied their legislators. But a lot of legislators were on the floor at that time as the House went on for, gosh, like seven plus hours. Uh, it was a long day yesterday, and the House is back at it today. We'll see how long they go with today being the bill deadline day for them to move stuff. But again, anything seems to happen at the state house where they waive rules and they can take shell bills and move stuff around. So uh, I guess that's why I got to head back to the state house to keep an eye on all that. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Follow me on X. Search Bishop on Air for the latest and a list of other stories that we've covered uh, from the Illinois State House, and there's tons more to come. Be sure to go check out thecentersquare.com, and don't forget Illinois in Focus coming out in just short order here on Fridays. Have yourselves a great day, and uh, we'll see you soon with Bishop on Air.